Hello everyone! Did you know that every year we consume up to 225 million tons of cooking oil? Among that, palm oil accounts for 35% and sunflower oil also contributes 9%. But how do those small palm fruits and sunflower seeds turn into the golden drops of oil on our tables? Today, we'll explore the fascinating journey from the fields to the factories, from each step of harvesting to modern processing lines. Are there any surprises in this process? And will palm oil or sunflower oil win the health race? Stay tuned until the end, and don't forget to leave any questions if you'd like to know more. To produce high-quality bottles of palm oil, the journey begins with an exceptional seedling. The seeds are meticulously selected from strong mother trees on the farm, then carefully nurtured to create the perfect seedlings. But this is only the beginning. We're entering the stunning tropical forests of Thailand, where oil palm trees are carefully tended to. Did you know that oil palms are a crucial source of vegetable oil, with each tree capable of producing up to 1620 kilograms of fruit annually? To reach this yield, farmers face numerous challenges. For instance, weeds and pests are constant rivals, competing with the palms for nutrients and water. That's why regular weeding is essential. Oil palm trees also require a lot of water to grow. Especially when they are young, they need consistent watering to ensure they don't suffer from water shortages during the dry season. Ah, do you see those little houses over there? Those are the homes of owls, the warriors protecting the palm trees from rats. With their natural hunting abilities, owls have become farmers' close allies, helping to safeguard the palms without harming the environment. For those who haven't seen what a palm fruit looks like, here it is. The palm fruit has a unique appearance with a tough outer shell, but inside, it holds a lot of fascinating surprises. When cut open, you'll see a white kernel inside. This is the palm kernel, while the outer layer, called the mesocarp, is the fruit's flesh. Surprisingly, palm oil comes in two types, from two different parts. The flesh of the fruit produces clear palm oil, ideal for cooking and daily consumption. And the palm kernel? Did you know that oil from the kernel is an essential ingredient for cosmetics, chocolate, and even premium soap? Harvesting palm fruit is both a challenging and fascinating task. To gather ripe fruit bunches from the tall palms, harvesters use a specially designed long harvesting pole. They lift the pole high, aim carefully, and make a precise cut to let the bunch fall safely to the ground. This job requires endurance, skill, and finesse. It's not easy at all. The journey for a palm tree to mature is far from short. From seed to seedling, it takes at least one year, followed by another 30 months of growing and care. The first fruit bunches are small yet valuable. Once the tree matures, the fruit bunches increase in size and reach optimal yield. On average, each palm tree produces around 20 kilograms of fruit per year and maintains this productivity for 25, 30 years, with the fruit bunches reaching their ideal age between 12 and 15 years. For shorter palm trees, instead of using a long harvesting pole, farmers can use a harvesting sickle, a flexible and convenient tool. With the harvesting sickle, farmers can easily reach low-hanging fruit bunches without the heavy lifting required with the pole, making it much more efficient and less strenuous. Today, we'll follow farmers as they transport palm fruit bunches to the factory. For palms located deep in remote areas, transporting the fruit is a real challenge. Farmers spear each bunch onto a metal rod, lift it, and place it in baskets on the back of their motorbikes, navigating narrow, muddy paths to reach the collection point. Here, the palm fruit is weighed and loaded onto trucks. Farmers use metal rods to spear each heavy, large palm fruit bunch, skillfully lifting them onto the truck with practiced ease. They also make sure to collect any fallen fruits from the ground, ensuring every bunch is thoroughly and efficiently harvested. In farms with more accessible locations, the work becomes easier, 
and productivity significantly increases. Here, machinery assists in gently lifting the palm fruit bunches onto the truck quickly, requiring less effort while maintaining quality. Fully loaded trucks wait nearby, and once everything is ready, the fruit is simply poured in and off they go to the factory. The trucks, fully loaded with palm fruit and carrying the hard work and joy of the farmers, are on their way to the factory. Are you curious to see each step that transforms these fruit bunches into pure palm oil? Keep watching, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting moments in the surprising journey ahead. As soon as the fully loaded trucks arrive at the factory, the journey of transforming palm fruit into pure palm oil begins. The fruit is unloaded and gathered in a designated area, ready for the next step. See that? That's when the front loader comes into action. With powerful assistance from the loader, the palm fruit bunches are lifted and gradually brought into the factory. Next, as the palm fruit bunches enter the factory, they are placed onto a conveyor belt, a fantastic transportation system, like an automatic pathway, just for the fruit. Each bunch is then loaded into large metal containers. The journey of each container leads the fruit to a crucial step, the sterilization process. This marks the beginning of transforming them into pure palm oil. Do you see that white steam rising? That's from the steaming process. Inside the sterilization chamber, the palm fruit is treated at a high temperature of 150 degrees Celsius and a pressure of three bars, three times atmospheric pressure. This steaming process eliminates harmful microorganisms ensuring the fruit is clean and safe. This step lasts about 90 minutes to achieve complete sterilization. The steaming process not only sterilizes, but also makes it easier to separate the palm kernels from the fruit bunch. Thanks to the high temperature, the natural oil cells within the fruit begin to break down, allowing the palm oil to gradually flow out naturally. Next, the palm fruit is placed onto a conveyor belt where it slowly moves toward the oil press machine. But wait, before pressing the oil, we need to separate the individual fruits from the bunch. And here comes our main star, the palm fruit thresher. This machine efficiently and quickly handles the job, making the process smoother and more effective. The steamed palm bunches are fed into the thresher where the machine rotates and separates the individual fruits from the bunch. Inside, there's a special mesh. The ripe palm fruits fall through to the bottom, ready to be transported to the oil press. The empty bunches remain at the top and are set aside for reuse, ensuring nothing goes to waste. Now, let's move on to the pressing and filtering of palm oil. After separation, the palm fruits are fed into a crusher where blades mash the pulp to extract juice. Then, the pulp is transferred to a screw press to extract the oil, while the palm kernels are pressed separately to obtain kernel oil. The crude oil flows through pipes to the vibrating screen filtration station, where small fibers and debris are removed. The oil is further clarified in two large settling tanks before passing through a vacuum dryer to reduce moisture. After this, it's sent for bleaching. Next, we move into the oil refining process. This stage is rarely seen up close. It involves a complex pumping system with numerous pipes, guiding the oil through various refining steps to ensure purity and quality. First, the crude palm oil is treated with bleaching clay, typically bentonite, which helps remove gums and unwanted colors, making the oil clearer. Next, the oil passes through the Alma filter to eliminate any remaining impurities before entering the distillation tower where it is heated to 255 degrees Celsius to remove free fatty acids, resulting in even purer oil. Finally, the oil is fractionated to remove heavy fats, producing clear palm oleine ready for bottling. First, let's explore how sunflowers begin their journey from tiny seeds. Like many other crops, sunflowers are also sown directly from seeds, 
However, the unique aspect here is that we no longer have to plant each seed by hand. Thanks to modern technology, seed sowing machines can handle up to 20 rows at once, making the sunflower planting process more efficient than ever. Once the seeds are sown in the furrows, they are placed shallowly in the soil, just deep enough to absorb all the necessary nutrients and water. And then after a few months of care, an entire field bursting with vibrant yellow will welcome us. True to their name, sunflowers always follow the sun. During the day, the blossoms turn from east to west, but by night, they shift back to face east, ready to greet the sunrise the next morning. Interestingly, only the flower heads move while the stems remain stationary. There are up to 70 different sunflower species with some plants reaching heights of up to three meters. But did you know? Among them, only about five main varieties are cultivated for their seeds, the sunflower seeds we snack on and use to make oil. Here's an interesting fact about sunflowers that you might not know. They're not actually a single flower. Although from a distance, a sunflower looks like one big bright bloom, each flower is actually a collection of thousands of tiny individual flowers packed closely together, forming a unique structure. This structure serves as a perfect banquet table that attracts pollinators, especially those hardworking bees. And what about the bees? They start their day early, drawn to the warm, vibrant sunflowers basking in the sunlight. As they gather nectar and store pollen, each visit to a sunflower carries the mission of pollination, helping plants to thrive and multiply. Clever, isn't it? Each tiny flower within that big family produces a seed, which eventually becomes the sunflower seeds we see later on. When the sunflower seeds are fully developed, the entire flower gradually dries out, signaling the perfect time to begin the harvest. This is when the vibrant yellow fields start to transform, preparing for the journey from blossoms to the beloved seeds we enjoy. With the help of modern threshing machines, the harvesting process is now faster and more efficient than ever. These powerful machines glide through the rows of sunflowers, skillfully extracting each seed from the dried flower heads, ensuring every seed is collected completely and intact. Let's take a moment to admire this beautiful harvest process, from the golden fields to the point when sunflower seeds are separated and ready for the next stages. Sunflowers are a high-yield crop with an annual global production of around 50 million tons. Russia and Ukraine contribute approximately 70% of that amount. However, due to the conflict between these two countries, sunflower production has significantly decreased. According to forecasts, Ukraine's sunflower yield for the 2021-22 season is expected to reach 3.3 million tons, down from an estimated 3.5 million tons in the previous season. This has impacted the global supply of sunflower oil, driving up prices and creating challenges for international importers. Most sunflower seeds are used to produce oil, and sunflower oil is one of the four most popular cooking oils worldwide. Quick challenge for you, can you name three other popular cooking oils? Try answering in the comments below. Now let's head to the factory to explore the process of producing sunflower oil from these tiny seeds. First, the sunflower seeds are placed into large storage tanks, where they begin their journey through each stage of production. Automated conveyors move hundreds of tons of seeds each day, ensuring the process runs smoothly and efficiently. The process includes several steps. First, the seeds are cleaned to remove dust and impurities. Next, the seeds are de-hulled to prepare for the most crucial stage oil extraction. The crude oil obtained from pressing then goes through a refining process to remove any remaining impurities, resulting in pure, high-quality sunflower oil as the final product.
Refined sunflower oil has a clear golden color and a pleasantly mild aroma. Thanks to modern refining technology, the quality of sunflower oil is exceptionally pure, retaining essential nutrients like omega-3, omega-6, and vitamins, key nutrients for health. Now, let's take a tour of the packaging stage. After quality inspection, the oil is pumped into bottles or cans, ensuring each product meets hygiene and food safety standards. The automated packaging system preserves the oil's freshness and purity, making it ready for consumers. Each type of oil has its own advantages. Palm oil is heat resistant, ideal for frying but high in saturated fats, while sunflower oil is heart friendly, rich in vitamin E, but less heat stable. Choose the oil that best suits your needs for delicious and healthy meals. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and leave a question if you want to learn more. Thank you for watching.